Today I am in a sunny Birmingham to show you some small cell poles of wonder deployed as part of the Midlands Future Mobility project and live for customers of 3UK. Midlands Future Mobility is a consortium developing a real world testbed for the advancement of connected and automated mobility solutions such as autonomous vehicles. Clearly the connected part is a rather key component of this which is where these small cell poles come in. Notably though these small cells have been deployed as a neutral host solution and therefore one or more mobile network operators can exist on the small cells. Three are the launch mobile network operator on these small cell poles with a phenomenal deployment for such a small footprint site that includes 4G on bands 1 and band 3 as well as 100 megahertz of N78 C band 5G as well. In fact these small cell poles are capable of over 1 gigabit per second which I've achieved in this area here roughly equidistant between the city centre and Birmingham airport. Perhaps what surprised me the most though is the frequency of these small cell posts as you head west along the A45 from Birmingham Airport. In fact it's not just along the A45 though as you saw earlier there are a number of these small cells around Birmingham city centre specifically surrounding Birmingham Moor Street station. Now that just leaves perhaps the most exciting part of these the hardware. Now starting off with the structural side of things, these come so far in two different key varieties. The majority of them are mounted onto existing lampposts like this example here, while some are mounted on dedicated support posts. The cabinets are Comscope Hercules units and these house the radios that then connect up to the antenna up on the lamppost there as well as the mains and the sort of power supply equipment and also the connectivity for front hall. Yep you heard right not back hall front hall and that's because these small cell sites are deployed with CRAM where instead of the baseband for the site being located in the cabinet with the radios and the rest of the equipment, the baseband is located at a data centre elsewhere. This means that a number of these small cells located separately from each other can all share a baseband and that then has advantages in terms of user mobility and various network functions. The trench that was dug in order to support the fibre front hall is quite visible in, in the pavement here going up to a communications cover. It is very nice to see a deployment of CRAN like this in the UK. Notably it isn't done as often as maybe it would be beneficial to do so due to the complexities in doing it. For example, front hall is a very high bandwidth interface when dealing with 5G and other high capacity end user layers and thus doing it over any useful distance can be really challenging. Now let's talk antennas. There's one of the freestanding small cell examples behind me and its antenna is visible at the very top which is a Comscope VVSSP-360S-F which is a 10 port small cell product which has a variety of ports for a variety of different bands in fact it's actually really quite impressive what they've managed to fit in there with four ports that do 1695 to 2690 MHz, four that do 3300 to 3800, and then two that cover the 5 GHz LAA range. 
The LAA cable ports aren't being used in this case. The 3300 to 3800 megahertz ones, all four of them are being used in order to deliver four, transmit, four, receive 5G on the C band. And then the four ports that do 1695 to 2690 are all connected, but the from a device point of view, this master is presenting and these small cells are presenting as to transmit on 1800 and 2100 megahertz. So potentially it's to transmit for receive or maybe to transmit to receive. It's, it's kind of hard to know, but certainly there is the capability to do for transmit for receive there should the desire present. Thanks for watching this video about the small cell poles of wonder in Birmingham. I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.